Uh, let me know if you can see the slides. Ah, uh, yes, we can see your slide. Thank you, Kesing. Well, good morning, Prof. Provost SUTD, uh, Prof. Vice President, Zhejiang University. Uh, it is my pleasure this morning to share with you uh, the Design Z. As you have heard in the speeches uh, numerous times about this uh, Next Gen Design Center of SUTD, I'm pleased to share with you some of the thoughts and ideas behind the center. Let me just, uh, just a minute. Let me just close the top. Give me a minute. Okay. So we had a uh, SUTD MIT collaboration uh, resulting in an international design center, but it was concluded uh, last year. And it is timely for us to set up the new design center named Design Z. You must be wondering why the name of Design Z? Well, the meaning of Z, of course, one that comes very clear to us is Gen Z. We believe that this design center must design for future generations. And it also should embody the spirit of the age as the word zeitgeist suggests. Last but not least, Z is the very last letter of the English alphabets, meaning to say that we must design with an N in mind. So our vision is really about creating a human-centric and circular world where lives are transformed by design, the economy is driven by circularity, and carbon emission is kept below net zero in the next 100 years. Why 100 years? Successful design movements such as the Bauhaus movement is still in effect today after 100 years. We believe that a good design movement must leave a legacy that goes beyond time. So the world is experiencing unprecedented challenges like global warming, worldwide pandemic, polarization wealth and aging population. These are real world problems that Design Z hope to solve. So we want to change the way businesses are done, transform the way people live, work and play, address gaps in the industry, especially in the area of circularity, sustainability, and also SDG goals. But to do all this, we need to build interdisciplinary design skills by training polymath of design. So what is our strategy for design? We must have a game plan. If you look back at the last few hundred years, design started in the Renaissance as an art form that catered to the needs of individuals and rich families. And by industrial revolution, design technology came into play and liberated design to the masses. And therefore, products can be mass produced and you and I benefited from it. By 2000s, we can see the impact of new digital age in our society. In fact, in the last two years, we saw it ever more during the pandemic. Those that were businesses that were traditionally run by brick and mortar all resorted to digitalization. And it is clear that design intelligence is the way to go in the next 100 years, where we see the use of AI and big data to solve extremely complex problems that human mind finds it challenging to make sense of it. These issues, of course, include all the things that we see now today about health and well-being, global pandemic, urbanization, disasters, food and water resiliency, so on and so forth. And we even have to cope with the problems that we don't even know exist, the unknown X. And this is the nature of the future of design that seeks to solve global problems. So what does the future of design look like in the next 100 years? I believe that it's going to be more intelligent with AI and ML in everyday products, more personal, individualization of design will take place to customize, to be customized to meet everyone's needs. 
And costs, rising costs, presents a huge issue for all societies, and design must help to solve it. And last but not least, we have to stop generating more waste, and therefore design has to be uh, utilizing uh, recyclables to reduce waste. SUDD has come up with a definition of design. We call it, uh, we define it as design when powered by technology is the informed, intentional, intelligent, and imaginative force that will drive innovations to improve lives, grow economies, and sustain our world. We need to unpack the word design. Design is no longer a mystery. Design cannot be seen as the alchemist or the voodoo magic. It is a science and it is also an art. It is driven by technology and it delivers innovations. And it is a sum of the parts of total society effort covering STEM and arts. So the themes for Design Z are specifically focused on these four areas where there are urgent needs in society. Zero carbon city, future connectivity, future health, design and AI. The programs of Design Z can be summed up by this four letter English word called RISE and each of the letter represents uh, a key areas of research. So we have R that stands for research. We provide design research for businesses and industries and innovation. We look at innovation with cutting edge technologies. We provide services to help solve problems and provide education to train students in design strategies. So let me start with our research. Uh, these are just sample of projects that we're embarking on, and one of the first is about net zero template. Like many par other parts of the world, Singapore is moving towards carbon neutrality by 2050. And the question asked is, how do I achieve carbon neutrality, especially in Singapore where we are in the tropics, we are dense and we are high rise. No easy alternative, it is certainly a very urgent need. I will speak more here, this because the next speech I will talk about designing for net zero world. Building remains one of the highest emission of carbon and it is a sector that faces more crisis than any other sectors, uh, sorry, other than the tourism sectors about shortage of labors. So there are very, very real problems that need to be solved in the building sector and it is a uh, urgent as well because more people are living in cities in the next few decades. One of the areas of innovation that Design Z seeks to embark on is about future health. Earlier you hear mentioned about our collaboration with Sing Health, one of the hospital clusters to explore research and innovation, not just to deliver green campus for them, but also look at how the future of healthcare is delivered in terms of products and services. One of the units within Design Z is called Design Innovation Team that offers design consultancy for companies and businesses that wish to transform their business or deliver cutting edge products with a sustainability focus. In terms of services, definitely Design Z will seek to offer Continuous Education and Training, CET program for design education. And we will also look at design certification. Like important disciplines, design deserve to have a accreditation scheme and certification to ensure standards are maintained. And last but not least, certainly Design Z will host major design events such as ICDD and there are two more coming in the rest of this year. As mentioned earlier on, Design Z also hosts the SUDD Sustainability Plan. And this is uh, an effort that we are committed to bring our campus to a low carbon status, as well as working in collaboration with Alliance partners to deliver low carbon outcomes. In terms of education, Design Z hosts a design and artificial intelligence degree and you come to hear more about it as you collaborate with SQTD. And this is a very unique program that turned designers, not just into 
data specialists, but also skillful at using AI and machine learning to transform design outcomes. And the other important degree program that DesignZ hosts is the Master of Innovation by Design held at the postgraduate level to advance design thinking, business design, and organization design, and so much more. And of course, needless to say, DesignZ is pleased to work with Zhejiang Yu in our collaboration, in looking at the next phase of collaboration. Equally, we work with other universities at Auto on collaboration on the design front. So how do you work with DesignZ? This is just a simple chart to uh, inform all of you. If you have a design idea or a design project, come and talk to us. Come and discuss with us so that we can co-curate with you. And we also want to be able to solve real world problems so we can go to problem owners or vice versa, they can come to us and together we form a powerful team to solve problems and at the same time secure the necessary resource to start the project. A bit of information on the timeline Design Z. We soft launched Design Z in October last year and we completed the establishment of the operation and we received the first batch of uh, students for the design and AI program. And there are many ongoing preparation work leading to the final official launch of Design Z uh, by 23rd July this year. So with that, I conclude my presentation on Design Z and thank you very much for allowing me to share this uh, very interesting and important information about the center. Thank you very much.